Everybody. welcome back to my channel this is sue and i'm from ems nails and beauty Wirral. um i've been doing short videos on the jelly feet range and what they're like and i did say i would do one of the greys that i had because they were so close in color so you can see that i've got a collection of five at the moment so this one is dreamer and then we have skyscraper cloud nine London City and Mile High. Now, from the angle you've got it on the camera, they all look very, very similar. From here, you can see there are slight shade differences and they are only minute. So if you're just looking for a particular grey, then I have a look at the site properly because they are so minute when you get them. It could just be that little shade off. So I'm going to try and bring this up to the camera. And this is done in my salon, which has just got a normal light on the ceiling. And then the light from the camera that I'm videoing on. If I turn my desk lamp on, which has a natural lamp, it changes colours completely. So for this video, I'm keeping it off. So on here... I can't actually tell you which is which and that's the problem with these greys is once you've swatched them and you don't put a sticker on them or know them properly you won't know which one it is so what I'm going to do on these is I'm going to swatch them again for you and then I'm going to put a matte top coat on them because this is the armor top coat that's on these ones which gives them that lovely shine now these have been popped for quite a while and sat in a box Whilst I've been off air, um, COVID is a lovely thing not to have. So we'll just crack on with it. So I've got some longer tips on this one. And I'm going to start with the Dreamer. Um, and see if I can figure out from these which one this is. Now, Dreamer is a lovely creamy consistency. And it has like... A lavender hue to it when you look at it here um, I'll turn the flash off and see what we get as the color see it just doesn't do it any justice at all but there is like a little lavender hue to this dreamer one which I think makes it beautiful um, so because it's a long tip I'm just starting at the bottom It just makes popping the colour on a lot more easier. As you can see, I'm doing them very, very thin. And then I'll just drag the rest of it all over it just to cover that nail tip. And once again, we've got fluffies in the salon. Nothing unusual. Can't re really get rid of them all. Right, so that's the, the first coat and very very thin hardly put anything on that and i'll just let that settle just for a few seconds now yes there are a few little bits of fluffies i'm not going to stress about it on the screen it actually looks white but it's not so as i say i'm going to top coat these now these cure for 30 seconds or 60 seconds in an led uv lamp always check your lamps and make sure that all of your coats are dry in between your applications. So this one is, oh, skyscraper, this one. So once again, I'll show you it up close. You can see it's a little bit darker in consistency compared to the last one. So it looks a little bit more of the gray. Once again, I'll pop a bit on here and then drag it around my tip because I'm not going to waste gels on just doing these. 
all these fluffies you see are actually from the salon i had a big deep clean and i've still got some fluffies floating around so i apologize for that but as i say for all intents and purposes it's just a quick swatch video to show you the differences so that's that one and you can see how smooth it goes on it's absolutely lovely as with all the gels from jelly Feek, um i haven't I haven't found any that have not gone on lovely. So this is Dreamer and that's just one coat of Dreamer. So I'm going to pop the second coat on. Wow, that's curing. Once again, just a little bit on my brush, not a lot. And I'll just plop that on. So because you've got that tacky layer, you don't need that much on the second coat. So I've hardly put any on the brush and all I'm doing is just applying a very, very thin coat. This will make the client's nails thinner as well so if you're doing any embellishments that need um oh i've forgotten the word encapsulating then you're not going to end up with um very thick nails which is which is lovely so that dreamer with its second pop right so this one is, oh, I've forgotten it again, Skyscraper. Now that's just on one coat. So I'll pop the obligatory second coat on just so you get the colour. And as you'll see, I've hardly got any on my brush. Pop it down and then just smooth it out. Now I've got clients that like different kinds of nails, so some will have thicker embellished nails and some will have more natural. So the thinner you can do these coats and cure them in between, then the better your client's going to feel depending on what they want at the end of the day. But you really don't want thick bulky nails on your clients, they're not, not pretty, we like them to look a little bit natural nowadays. So that's the second coat of that. And so I'm going to pull out Dreamer again. Now this is Dreamer with its final coat on. Now it's still looking very, very white on camera. You can just see the pale greyness. And it is very, very pale. So if I was to bring these up. I would say it's that one. So this one is Dreamer. I'm going to pop that one there. I'm just going to pop this swatched on to one side so I can map top coat them all in a bit. Right, so the second one was Skyscraper, I believe, if I remember rightly which I never do, yes, skyscraper. Right, now you can see the difference between skyscraper and dreamer. So you see dreamer's got more of the blue lavender hint where this one is more of your gray. So very, very pretty on its own, but just be careful when you're ordering them. So that's why I'm doing these little videos it just makes it a little bit easier because I went on to Jellyfig sites and I just bought everything and I was like oh yeah 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 I like that I like that I like that and then I was like oh I've got 22 of them no I only had a couple um so let me see if I can find that one no is it that or that I don't know this is how close they are. So that. So we started recording this yesterday, 
locked down and I'd only managed to do two tips and then my phone stopped because I'd run out of storage space so I'm going to continue it with the greys so this video will just continue on so this one is cloud nine um as I've already said these greys are so so similar to one another that that's why I'm doing this popping video for you so unless you actually want all of these greys in your collection then hopefully this will give you a little bit of an indication to what they're like next to one another so very thin layers again just because one i don't want to waste product on tips and two it just doesn't need it so this one cloud nine which is the third one on here so just let that settle and pop that into cure for 30 seconds in an led uv or 60 seconds in an led uv lamp so the next one i'm gonna do when this one comes out because i'm gonna try and figure out which of these ones here are these ones here because they're so close in color so the ones i did yesterday still haven't been top coated they've just sat in the salon all night and i've come down and i'm still between that one and this one here for that now looking at it under the camera probably helps a little bit so it might be that one but as you can see they are very close so i'm going to get to the obvious end one and go right that's what it is so i'm just going to put the second coat of cloud nine on and then i'm popping these and um, i'm topping these with the um matte top coat just so we can see the difference once again very very thin layer looks a little bit thicker on camera than what it actually is in real life just let that settle so that's settled and once again in for 30 seconds so the next one I've got, is, this one's London City. Now this one looks paler again, so it looks quite white on the screen as I'm looking at it. So, gosh alone knows what it's going to be in one of them pops. So once again, because I'm doing a long tip, I'm just throwing a bit down here. And then I'll take it up because a little really does go a long way. And that is the beauty about what I'm finding with these Jellyfeek gels is that literally you can do super, super, super thin coats. So nails are not very bulky and thick when they're coming out onto your clients. So this is the, what did you, what did we say it was? Not skyscraper, cloud nine. So this is cloud nine. This one is skyscraper. And then the lighter one, I'll pop that way. That one is dreamer. So you can see a massive difference between this one and these two but there's only a slight slight difference between them two and it is only slight and i'm gonna have to make sure to put these back in the right order because otherwise i'm completely gonna get it all mucked up right so on to the second coast of this one so as you can see you pretty much get away with that 
looks at these bloody fluff things in the salon that do me head in. Sometimes I ignore them when I'm just popping. Well, I'm just smack bang in the middle of the nail then. It really does me head in. Now you'd get away with that if you were doing other things. Um, so once again, I'll show you that. I'm taking virtually all of that gel off. There's hardly anything on that brush. And I'll literally just drag it down. And just for easiness, I'll turn the tip over and drag it back up. Now that's gone on absolutely lovely. The consistency, consistency of these is really nice. So they're saying it's a medium consistency. It's not runny and it's not thick. So it is medium. But the coverage you get on it, it's absolutely amazing. That's two of the thinnest coats in my life. I don't think I ever do them that thin on myself. So never mind when I'm just popping them. Now, oops, yeah, because we're going to do that one. This one's mile high. And this one again is a pale grey. So it looks white again on the screen. Well, it does as I'm looking at the screen anyway. So we're going to do this one next. So this is the one we've just done, which was London City. Now, if we put London City, I'll do it at the end. I'll put all five of them on my skin at the end. And you'll see the different tones of grey. And hopefully... It'll pick it up. So just a little bit more than my second coat. I'm going to pop this on. And drag it down. And then just drag it back up. Because as I say, just for the intents of popping them, letting you know the colour difference and seeing the colour difference. I don't need to be wasting tons and tons of product. So let that settle. And because I've put it on very, very thin, if I bring it up, you might be able to see. See, there's like little streaky marks in it. That's because it's so, so thin on here. So the drag marks actually show you itself how thin they are. So I have actually worked out one of the colours once it was dry and that was the last one I've just popped. So that's that one there. So I've just got three left on my little palette to try and figure out which is which. I'm not having much joy at the moment looking at them. Right, so this one... Once again, take most of the product off my brush and just pop this on. It has like a little bluey hint to this one where the first one we did had like a little violet hint to it. This one's got like a little bluey hue to it. So it's like a bluey grey. But it's still very pale. So let me see if I take the light off. You can get just a little bit of a difference there. And once again, my camera's messing up. So I'm just going to pop that one in. Right, I'm going to figure out which of these colours are which. Because it's saying I've only got a few minutes to sort this out. So I'm going to figure these out from these pops down here. I'm going to matte top coat them. And then I'll come back and I will show you the final product. Just quickly before I go and put the um, velvet matte top coat on. The one that I thought was Dreamer was not. That's actually turned out to be Mile High. So these ones are in the correct order. Whatever this one is, it is definitely not Dreamer. And I haven't got a Dreamer down there, so I don't know what I've done there. 
so we have whilst they're not top coated we have dreamer let me just turn these on the side so i can see what they are right so there's dreamer try not to touch them because they're still wet and tacky well they're just tacky um this one is skyscraper so i've turned the camera light off at the moment and i have my overhead light on Let's see if you can see anything different and then we have cloud nine london city and the final one there mile high so this is now with the light of my camera on and gets a little bit better to see so we've got mile high this end then we've got london city cloud nine skyscraper and then we've got dreamer now dreamer is definitely blue gray this i would say is the darkest gray which is the skyscraper cloud nine is just one shade lighter now this is a totally different gray altogether this is like a very very light slate gray and where this one has more of the vel um, the violet color blue hue to it this has a pale blue hue to it so they're just slightly different so if i pop that one next to that one you'll see there let me see try not to let them touch too much so you'll see that's more blue than that one so it's more so these greys even though very similar are all very different these two are the closest, which are Skyscraper and Cloud9. As I say, it's like as if they've just put one more dot of grey in the coloration of the Skyscraper. So I'm going to matte top, top, coat, matte top coat these and then I'll be back and I'll show you the final look in the matte coat. Right, so because it's me, I've gone and popped Dreamer. And so you can actually see what it's like. So I'm just going to bring these up, see if I can not drop them so dreamer skyscraper cloud nine london city and mile high and in exactly the same order is them in the mat now this one on here looks completely white it's not it's a very very soft gray um, so if I pop its little counterpart on top, hopefully it'll stay. You can see just how slight it's gone down. If I turn that off, really that not much of a difference, to be honest. So I'm going to pop these next to my skin to give you an idea again. So once again, we have Dreamer, Skyscraper, Cloud Nine. Then we have London City. I hope I can get this one to stick back on. We've got mile high so i'm just going to turn that light off it doesn't make much of a difference let me see no small shadow right so that is the five greys that i've got within my collection at the moment as i say there's not much between these two at all that is between the other three um so 
it's going to be entirely up to you and what you want in your collection. What I'm going to do now, just to try and show you, is pull the mat and the armour top coat. So that one is Dreamer. I'm just going to pop these down. Still trying to keep them in order for myself. Oops. This one is Skyscraper, which is the second one there. So that's Skyscraper in the mat and in the armour top coat. And the armour top coat ones have been loitering around my salon now for oof, quite a while now, so they're a bit beat up. Well, they're still doing great for little tips that have been thrown around. That one is Cloud Nine. I don't know which one I prefer on there. Write in the comment whether you prefer the the matte or the the glossy top coat. It'd be interesting. Right, London City. I actually think I prefer that one in matte. But hey ho, each to our own. And then the last one of this collection is the Mile High. And that's its matte and its armour top coat. So once again, I thank you all very much for tuning in. If you can like and share, I would really appreciate it. And I'll be back with a whole load of other colours as soon as I've got them videoed. Thanks very much for your time and I'll see you all soon. Bye.